Hi, I bought this new kit. I'm going to see about putting it together. Let's see what's in here. Just showed up in the mail. And it is a scope clock. And blah, blah, blah. And yeah, let's just see what it's going to take. Everything on it seems to be marked. BNC jacks. Couple sockets. I don't know why there's two large sockets. Oh, no, there's multiple sockets there. Four ICs. One of them is pre programmed. Looks like a serial port. And all kinds of through hole components. Do we dare just start putting it together, or should we actually download the instructions? Get some more light. Okay, I did decide it'd be wisest to actually print the instructions and give them a look. Okay, tell us a little bit about parts. Two millimeter copper wires, easiest installed when done is the first item on the PC board. There are copper wires. Is that these things? CH1 and CH2.
neat her out. Wants us to do a few checks. Wants us to check these diodes. They should have battery voltage on them. 3.2, 3.2, and we're going to apply 12 volts. And we're going to check some IC pins. Uh, IC 1 pin 7. Three, four, five, six, seven. Let's turn the power on. And that was pin seven. I see two. Uh, pin fifteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, fourteen, fifteen. Four point nine volts. I see three pin eight. That's four point eight volts. And I see four pin sixteen. Four point nine volts, so voltage is good. Uh, now it's time to uh stuff the ICs in it. Pins a little. Paying attention to polarity. Hey! Shit. That's what you don't want to do. Especially on the pre programmed chip you can't replace. Next time, be more careful the IC pins. close to the eyes where we can see them clearly. And they are kind of a bugger to get in there. Okay, let's be a little more careful with these other ones.
Okay, all ICs are now installed. Time to try it out. Okay, so I've connected the scope clock up to my Rigel DS1054Z. Uh, this is a digital storage oscilloscope. Um, it doesn't do a very good job of displaying something in XY mode like this. We can see kind of the way this scope works is it samples both channels in its uh, normal mode and you can see up there and then it computes the XY mode off of that. Um, so you, it's a little bit fuzzy and not the easiest thing in the world to read. Let's see what happens if I start pushing the buttons on this thing. Oh, look at that. It's like a menu. It's a clock. 12 hour. I switched 24 hour mode. Well, that didn't really do much. Normal menu change. Dial. Oh, there's 24 hour dial. Let's see what that looks like. Well, it still looks like the same kind of dial. GP. Alarm. Okay, so 12 hour numbers. What other apps are there? Calendar. Well, let's see what happens if I put it on calendar. Oh, you see a big square. Maybe that's calibrate. What does term do? Oh, look at that. It's terminal. That's cool. Gen. Waveform generator, maybe? I don't know. I seem to have put it in some kind of mode I cannot uh, exit now. A long press. Long press there. What if I push both of them? Well, huh, I wonder how I exit this. I turn it off and back on. Okay, there we go. It's in terminal. Hex date. Okay, let's go back over here. Well, let's not do gen again. Demo and boot. Let's see what demo does. Uh, no. Your name here, so I can put my name there. Ah, see, there's different. Clock faces, Roman numerals. Oh, that's cool. Binary clock. Nice. Combinations. Day of the week. Okay. Okay, so let's try out the scope clock with my uh, old Ico 430 oscilloscope. So turn it on. This is an analog scope. Turn the clock on. It's warming up. Uh, we need to switch it to external mode. Vertical gain. Make it as big as, well, that's about as big as we can get it because the horizontal gain is kind of tapped out there. Uh, let me see, let me see if I can zoom in 
closer on that. Let's move it up a little. Up and center it a little. So I don't know how well the uh, camera takes picture of this, but you can so you can probably tell this is a clearer image than we got on the uh, digital scope. It's not uh, grainy as it was on the digital scope. This is because this is an actual analog scope working in XY mode. It doesn't have to do any kind of sampling and then uh, computation and then redisplay like the digital one did. It's just simply taking the horizontal and vertical inputs and applying them uh, to the cathode ray tube. Um, so you'll probably notice it's upside down. I don't know if I could tell you exactly why that's the case. I've seen some people say that the, the Y deflection plates are upside down in older scopes. Uh, I don't know if that's true. Uh, one thing about this scope is it is an AC coupled scope only. It has no DC mode um, and there's no invert control. Um, so that could be responsible for it uh, being kind of upside down. So the other thing you'll notice is that it kind of bounces up and down a little bit and I'm not entirely sure why that is either other than maybe it is uh, because this is strictly an AC coupled scope. It has no DC mode. Uh, finally, let's try my old BK Precision analog oscilloscope. Turn it on. Turn the clock on. Um, it's not in uh, XY mode yet. So let's uh, XY, there we go. That's vertical. Is there a way to change the horizontal? Okay, so that's vertical gain. This one here will be our horizontal gain. How do we move it over? Changes the size. There we go. Use the vernier. So I would say, you know, on this old BK Precision, we get our clearest picture yet. It's actually right side up. This is in uh, DC mode. So if I was to, uh, there should be an invert control. So that's kind of how it looked on the uh, ICO. So it's nice you have a. Uh, ability to invert it. Okay, so let's verify my hypothesis that um, the reason that the ICO was jumping around up and down was because it was in uh, AC coupled mode and it had no DC mode. So I can take the BK and I can put it in uh, AC mode. Let's move that. Move this. And you can see it's doing the same kind of bouncing up and down thing. So, uh, kind of proved what I'd already suspected that uh, scope clock, uh, to get it to work right, needs to be need, needs to have a DC coupled oscilloscope, not an AC coupled one. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sandrail stuff. Bye.